So I bought a canoe and me and Andrea have been having a wee go on it. Uh, we went out twice at the weekend. First time was just a kind of play around, proof of concept, does it actually float, this fold up canoe. Um, so we just took it down the canal, uh, unfolded it, got a bit of attention from the pub, got it out in the water, probably spent less time in the water than we actually did folding it and unfolding it, uh, folded it back up and then we went into the pub for a pint to reward ourselves because we told it out, well I told it, told it out there and Andrew told it back um, so we both had a go towing it on the bike um, then we went to Loch Ree in Athlone on Saturday and I met up with some people from triathlon clubs to go for a quick swim then we took it out and we paddled it to one of the little islands, one that was very close, not not a long journey at all. But just just testing it out, seeing how it feels, especially with boats passing, because um, Cousin Point's a bit busy. There's a harbour there with a lot of boats, so... Um, but today, I'm on my own, so so I'm going back to the old sup board. I'm going to take it out to Loch Hull, in Mullingar. I've not been out to Mullingar uh, in quite a long time. So we're going to do that and I'll probably try swimming again. Turns out that swimming in, uh, in a wetsuit in cold water when you're used to the pool is quite different. So I need to practice that. So that's the plan for today. I don't know why but I had the strangers to have my lunch actually on the water. So I've only paddled from over there where the pier is. There's the island. This looks like someone's actually built a little way in. We're gonna go and have a look. Is this as far as I can go? I think it might be. It's cool though. We got a little bit further in. But there's no obvious way into the like a path or anything and I don't have shoes on so we're just gonna head back. A sign for the for the club, but it's actually just a joke sign telling you where Dublin, Galway, Mullingar, and Sligo are. Just gonna have the other half of the lunch and then going for a swim and maybe another wee shot on the board, but I won't be going over to the island. So over there. So I kind of forgot to record and tell you what happened um, after I finished swimming at, um, at Loch Hull. When I got there, there was a family there, they went for a swim, they had a little dog, I played with the dog for a little bit because the dog didn't want to go in the water. Um, and then by the time I'd got my wetsuit on and my sup board pumped up, they actually were pretty much leaving. So the entire time I was there, I was there on my own, I couldn't see anybody at the shore. Um, and when I got back and kind of played about uh, swimming and on the paddleboard, there was no one there. The second that I take my swimsuit off, a German couple appears, then two Irish families, then a train goes past. It was unreal the amount of people that suddenly showed up as soon as I got in my towel.
up to a campsite on Saturday night. It didn't happen. Uh, I woke up on Saturday morning. I was to catch the... I could either have caught the half eight train or the half past ten train. And well, I just wasn't awake for the half eight at all. Got up about ten, felt a bit sore, hungry. Didn't really want to rush myself to get out the door for half ten to catch the... Well, I would have just had to leave to catch the the half past ten one and I felt I didn't I wasn't really sore but I was sore enough that I thought can I paddle all day long to get to this campsite there's a social with the triathlon club so uh, that starts at six it's only about half past two just now so I'm just out for a kind of paddle before that I've got my dry bag with uh, with some clothes for going to the social in it and those toilets at Kissing Point can get changed in. That's it. I think the plan is to go around Hare Island at least. And then I'll maybe see what time it is, how tired I am. My arms are feeling a bit sore already, to be honest. Um, I slept really badly after the aquathon. Um, and I feel like I might still be recovering from it. <laughs> Which isn't good, because I've got another one on Wednesday coming. Today's Sunday. And uh, this time I'm hoping to go for the 500 metre swim instead of the 250. So God knows how I'm going to feel after that. But I'm still so happy that I did the full 5k. That was, um, I was really happy with that. Okay, see ya. This is Hare Island. Down there where that boat is. Oh, you can't see it. It's Kissing Point where I came from. Kinda looks further on the camera than it really is. Looks like there's a sailing club out. Over there is the forest that me and Andrew went to on Christmas Eve one day, one year. And a wee island, and we'll go over to that wee island. Hair Island's back there. I think I would have been back too soon if all I did was go round it. So we're gonna keep going up a wee bit. That island there is Inchmore. Uh, so I'm gonna go and paddle up there. It looks like you can maybe get onto it. Um, there's Inchmore. We're almost there. We made it. The rocks are really quite strange looking. Look quite sore on the feet. I'm not sure yet, laddie.
Let's go. What is this? It's a welcoming party. Hello Coast Guard. Hello, yes. Well, we camped on this island and then the horses ate our boat. I genuinely tried to eat the boat. No. Hello, Coast Guard. You have to come rescue us. The goats ate our boat. So our, uh, we had a very quiet night Go. and then we were rudely awoken by the sound of the horses trying to steal our boat. <laughs> They're back. Couldn't see this last time. Hey buddy! 